What's good, friends and family? Uh, it's the 27th. Happy Dominican Independence Day. Uh, so I decided to do another cost of living in Dominican Republic video because the previous one I did was my basic living, me and a couple friends, our basic budget. But also now in January, as you know, I, got, I have the baby coming and a lot of things actually happened in January that I actually spent a little more money. So I want to give you a cost of living based on, well, the what ifs and when things start happening, you know, the extra amount of money that you might need here and there. Okay. But first off, in the words of Bo Rakes, make flip flop your first stop. Okay, friends and family, so we're here. And as I said, the cost of living video. I'm doing a new one now. This was based on January uh, because a lot of things happened in January. I kept all my receipts and I said, let me see, you know, because I can hear people yapping about, oh, you need this, you need that to live down here. I told you what my guy's budget was in the first video, me and two friends of mine. The link is below. You can check that old video out to compare it to what I'm about to say now. All right, so this is January 2019. All right, so stuff for the baby, gas, uh, meaning gas to cook with, a new stove, my stove broke, so I had to buy a new stove, which wasn't a lot. Uh, I had to get my washing machine fixed and a lot of small items. So with the baby, the new stove, uh, the washing machine, items and gas, blah, 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 uh, miscellaneous, I would say, 20580 which is $411, okay? So miscellaneous and with the baby, $411, little things I had to get. Okay, two, food shopping was about 17,000, give or take. So it rounds off being about $340. Now remember, it's more food shopping because there's a prego involved. So she's gotta eat her food and get her nutrients and vitamins and all that, minerals and all that stuff. Um, so, <laughs> so number three, um, the normal, the normal bills, rent, lights, uh, the phone, Wi-Fi, uh, my child support, which I don't know if I ever put this in my previous video. My child support is $125 per kid, so that's $250 a month since I have two boys down here already. Uh, and like I said, my lights are less than 10 bucks. So that r rent, lights, phone, Wi-Fi, the, the kids... 31,030 pesos, which is about $620. Okay, so now with the baby and the miscellaneous, uh, the new stove and the items like that, food shopping, rent and the basic necessities that I, you know, your phone and, and whatnot and the, and the kids, I'm at $1,371. Okay, now that's with the baby, that's with the stove being broke. You know, I guess my stove broke, I had to buy a new stove, got to cook. Um, the washing machine, got to wash laundry. Uh, one of my spinners was broke, so we had to get, an, get that fixed. Okay, so now we're at $1,371. Now, my party budget. New Year's, January, I had a couple friends come in town. Uh, we had Super Bowl coming in. So actually, a lot of guys came in before Super Bowl, and I partied a bit. A lot of guys wanted me to take them to Puerto Plata. Went to Puerto Plata a bunch of times, hung out, a couple bars out there. Um, but as I said, I know where to drink at when I do drink. I like to drink vodka, but I will drink rum. I'm, I, you see me outside on the strip sometimes. I'm drinking rum. I have no problem with that. Um, but I do like vodka sometimes. So now you go to Miami bar, a bottle is 2,500 pesos. That's 50 bucks for a bottle of Grey Goose, a liter. But then you go 200 yards down the road to Chalos, that same bottle is 4,500 pesos. That's an extra 40 bucks. Okay, so... I take everybody to Miami bar. You might have seen me partying with Bo Rakes and a couple people. Um, and we, we drink, I'm drinking, we had Grey Goose and Rome, actually. So my party budget for January was a little more, more than I like to do, but I was in Puerto Plata a lot and I was just having fun. About $350. Okay, so the excess party budget, $350. So basically, for the month of January, my budget was $1,721. I told you guys a million times, this is a third world country. You do not need a lot of money to live down here. And that's excess right there. That's the stove breaking, the washing machine breaking, the baby, you know, um, and me partying. I'm, I'm actually, January was actually a, 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 a big party month for me. I, didn't, I don't like partying too much, but I found myself partying like almost every weekend um, and a couple of days throughout the week too. So that budget is actually higher than normal. So I wanted to give you guys an idea now, this, like I said, this is my basic budget, which I put in the first video, which will be in the link below. And 
the new budget for January, adding to the stuff that, you know, the what ifs. Okay, the baby's here. We got to buy clothes. We got to buy cribs. We got to get all these things. You guys saw the video where, you know, Shorty went shopping. Um, and then the stove breaking. Got to get a new stove. The washing machine breaking. Got to fix the washing machine. Um, the excess, you know, the miscellaneous things that popped up here and there throughout the month. Had to get that taken care of. Uh, my basic, you know, my kids, the house, everything. Basic stuff. So I'm not, I'm not even at $2,000 yet, which is why I tell people you can live good down here. For fifteen dollars to $2,000, you can live really good down here. Okay, so forget all that other stuff about somebody saying, oh, you need a ton of money. It's a third world country. If you know how to live and know how to shop, know where to shop, know where to go for entertainment if you want to go drinking, you don't have to spend a lot of money. But if you're in the disco every night, yeah, you're going to blow a lot of money. That just is what it is. Okay, so that's the second of the cost of living videos that I've done. As I said, the first one will be down here in the, in the description. That video contains mine and two friends of mine, how we budget ourselves. Okay, you guys appreciate the love as, as usual. And Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out.